Last year, Chinese firms attracted 70% of all funding on artificial intelligence, or AI, investment worldwide. That's according to researchers at Tsinghua University. But this burgeoning sector, also seen as a key component in China's tech war with the United States, could be in for a rough ride. Lynette Lim explains. These elderly people look like they're playing computer games, but they're actually performing physiotherapy. These machines are rehabilitation robots that help the elderly train joint strength through engaging reward-based games. We need to measure the uh, range of motion for the upper limb and each joint angle. After that, we will uh, send in a customized uh, pre uh, like program. And uh, after the training section, normally it's around 20 to 30 minutes, uh, we will print out a report. So that report shows their all performance during the training, their score, uh, their range of motion, their accuracy of every each moment. Artificial intelligence and robotic startups are increasingly common in China. Between 2015 and 2017, for instance, over 450 Chinese AI startups received funding worth some $4.8 billion. And according to some reports, China is home to the most number of AI startups valued at or above $1 billion. Today, many of them, seeking new markets with fewer competitors, are expanding overseas. One example is Deep Blue Technology, which develops self-driving buses and autonomous industrial cleaning robots. These startups, as well as tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent, are out in full force at the World Artificial Intelligence Conference, currently underway in Shanghai seeking to develop new markets and to champion China's tech ambitions. With conferences like these organized at significant government expense, China is sending a message to the world that nothing can stop them in their quest to become a technological superpower. But there are some concerns that the artificial intelligence or AI sector is overhyped and that the bubble may burst. In a recent news report, investment firm China Everbright said 90% of all Chinese AI startups run the risk of failure over the next two years. This is because large sums of money are being sunk into these startups, despite less than 5% of them reaching 1 billion yuan in revenue. The flow of money looks like it will soon drop dramatically due to sort of a variety of causes, um, the economic slowdown, the trade war, and as those funding sources dry up, companies will be forced to go back to the old standard issues of profitability and development. And I think a lot of the companies in this space right now may well fail that test. This would be bad news for the Chinese government, which has been dangling incentives to spur indigenous innovation as the country's ongoing tech and trade war with the U.S. grows increasingly bitter. Lynette Lim, CNA, Shanghai.